and a pleasant good uh, Sunday morning of September the 4th. It is very warm out. It's already in the lower 80s at 7 in the morning. Here in the City of Angels. Well, it was 98 degrees at USC yesterday. It was uh, 103 in Fullerton, 97 at John Wayne, 100 in Long Beach, and 92 at LAX. And it was 107 in Burbank and about almost 110 in Ontario yesterday. And yes, this heat wave is going to continue today. It's going to be in the triple digits across town again like it was yesterday. And 105 to 110 in the valley. And this excessive heat warning is going to continue, unfortunately, you know. And yes, this is late summer, though, too. And... Well, also a happy birthday to former catcher Mike Piazza, who used to catch for the Dodgers and the Mets, one of the best hitting catchers in history of the game. Also to former outfielder Frank White from the Kansas City Royals. Also a happy birthday to Beyonce from Destiny's Child and to saxophonist David Liebman and to uh, Pat Neshek. Um, well, the Dodgers bounced back and win 12 to one yesterday as the offense was on fire. Yep, the hits just kept coming. Yeah, Mookie Betts set a career high with his 33rd homer of the year and the Trey Turner and Freddie Freeman just keep r raking up the hits. And hopefully Freddie Freeman will pass Paul Goldschmidt for the batting crown. And well, the Dodgers reduced their magic number down to 12 and try to go for the series win today. And then the Angels came back in the 11th, 12th inning and beat the Astros 2-1. Shohei Otani pitched a great game last night, too. Yep. Also, um, so the Angels also tried to go for the series win, and with the Mariners winning... Hopefully the Mariners can catch up to Houston. And hopefully Houston will have a problem down the stretch. And yes, the Yankees and Mets both lost last night. And with the Braves winning, the Mets lead in the NL East is shrinking now. Same with the Yanks. I mean, I, I thought they were going to run away in their divisions. But it doesn't look like it because uh, the Braves might win the... NL East and the Rays might win the AL East, but it's a tight ball. Well, the Cardinals are going to win the NL Central. And yes, USC and UCLA won their games yesterday as well in the college opener. So, wow, it's hard to believe that all four sporting venues were in action yesterday. Dodgers, Angels, Bruins, and Trojans all playing in the heat. Yeah. Of course, the Rose Bowl is up in Pasadena, where I'm sure it was really hot over there. And we're just a few days away from the NFL season as the uh, Rams take on the Bills Thursday night. And see if the Rams can defend their Super Bowl championship. So, well, I hope the Dodgers get a win today and reduce that magic number down to 10. And... Uh, and hopefully they can uh, bounce back and win the division sooner than later. And the Giants, unfortunately, beat the Phillies yesterday 5-4. to four. And let's hope that the Phillies avoid the sweep. Yeah. Well, the Giants' playoff hopes are fading, though. And, um, yeah, it's a tight race in the American League East. I mean, the American League Central between the Twins and the Guardians. And Well, all right. Well, have a great rest of your Sunday. I'll catch you all later. And all, oh, by the way, congratulations on, on, for, to Serena Williams on having a fantastic career, a Hall of Fame tennis player, one of the best ten tennis players on the planet. Thanks for everything. You did a great job. You were awesome. You're a champion. Um, amen. <laughs>